Okay, thank you, Dr. Hammerschlag. Uh, so I'd like to introduce our next presenter, uh, jo uh, John Tobin, JT. Very, very well known to so many of us. JT, uh, instead of reading his bio, I'm just going to tell you, I've worked with JT for over a decade. He is a masterful person, instructor, field provider, uh, incredibly experienced. He's, JT has worked with us in our acute care programs all across the state, our CPR, our CPR and our TBI programs. And um, JT has also, the last several years, taken on the, uh, the challenge of becoming a master tactical yoga trainer. And so wonderful things. So uh, JT, in, in our, all of our trainings, we actually try to um, insert some of his tactical yoga training. And so JT, throughout the day, is going to do uh, some of this with us. Thanks, everybody. OK, so, so first thing, I'm going to move around a lot. If that drives you crazy, tough shit. Sorry. It's just the way that it's going to be. So we're passing around some oils, some essential oils. Now, this is not like I'm pushing drugs on you that I'm trying to sell you, and you're going to be hooked after the first time. This is completely uh, voluntary. So if you want to try this, you can. So what you do is you just take, there's some tangerine out there, and there's some peppermint. OK? You just take one drop. Pop it in your hand, just one little drop, and then you rub it in your hand, OK? And then we're going to start to breathe into the hands. Just take some big breaths. And it's going to wake us up a little bit. Because I don't know about you. Well, I know about you because I've been talking to you guys for a long time. We start to fall asleep after about 10 or 15 minutes. So this will help you wake up. So they'll be on the tables for the rest of the day. Whenever you need a little hit, you can take it, OK? <laughs> These are, it's good stuff though. You can try it, try, you know, pass them around because the tangerine's a little bit different than the peppermint. Okay, so essential oils. So that's what we're gonna do. So tactical yoga, I had some friends talk to me earlier this morning and they said, how are we gonna do yoga tactically? And what yoga is, so let's first figure out what it is. Yoga is a 6,000 year old science that helps to as Dr. Hammerschlag said, connect the body, the mind, and the spirit together. Okay? So there's all three of those in yoga. But it's not a religion, it's a science. Um, my teachers have taught me that yoga is a breath practice, a breath practice that we add movement to. So one of the first things that we do is we learn how to breathe, because we've forgotten how to breathe. We breathe just up here, and that's it. We're, we gotta suck the guts in, you know, can't, can't let those poke out. So while we're going around and walking, we're breathing with just the upper chest and we're only halfway breathing, okay? So we're gonna learn how to breathe. So if you could come to the edge of your seats, so if you bring your seat and just sit right on the edge. So your back's nice and straight, nice and tall, so we're trying to get space between the hip bones and everything up. Get space, nice and tall, OK? This is stuff that you can do. So why it's tactical. This is stuff you can do on the way to the call, while you're on the call, after the call, way after the call, way, way after the call. Okay? It helps us to connect with what we're, what's going on inside, what we're feeling. And it makes it a little bit more okay to be able to feel that. Okay? So we're all sitting up nice and tall. One hand on the belly. So one hand on the belly. If you want, you can put one hand over the heart. And if you are so inclined and you are comfortable doing so, you can close your eyes. If not, just have a nice soft gaze. Okay? We're going to start to just take some big deep breaths in through the nose, nice and deep and long. We're going to start with the belly. So let the belly poke out and then fill the upper chest. So we're kind of filling from the bottom up. And then when we blow out, we're going to empty the chest first, then the belly. It takes some practice to do it because it's not how we breathe anymore. But you look at babies, how do they breathe? Okay, belly breaths. So we're breathing in. 
breathing out. We're trying to get nice, long, smooth, fluid inhales, and that might not be happening for you right now. But we work at it. Nice, long, slow exhales. Belly first, middle chest, upper chest. Exhaling, upper chest, middle chest, belly. Now you can do this wherever. Nobody knows what you're doing. You're just breathing. I had a call last night. Traumatic call. I associated myself into the call because I have some teenage kids. We had some teenagers die. I felt myself getting worked up. So I started doing some breaths. And after about 10 or 15 breaths, I felt a lot better and able to participate better in the call. All right. So I want everybody to take a nice deep breath in. And this time you're going to open your mouth and with the H-A sound, you're just going to blow it out and clear it out. Everybody's doing it. Come on, let's go. Inhale. Hold it for a second. Open the mouth, let it go. One more, inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. So just kind of sit for a second, see how you feel. Do you feel a little lighter? Maybe. See how you feel. Don't judge how you feel right now. So if we take control of the breath, just as the mind can take over the breath when we get anxious, upset, our breath speeds up, our breath gets tighter, we can take control of the breath or we can take control of the mind using the breath in the opposite fashion. If we take control of the breath, we can calm down the mind. All right? We're gonna go, we're gonna move on. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll do some more breathing, we'll do some moving. Have fun, here you go, Ben. Okay, awesome, thanks JT.